Good day my friends, today we're going to talk about the higher self. What or who is the higher self really? When we talk about the higher self, I found that it will be necessary to talk a little bit about the sixth and the seventh dimension also. So if you want to know how to connect better with your higher self or who the higher self really is and if you are interested in the higher realms, how we connect with the higher realms, what the role of the higher self is in the higher, realm, higher realms, then I invite you to please stay till the end. I'm also going to talk a bit from, uh, about concepts from uh, Guru Deva's original writings, which are extremely powerful. So without further ado, let's start. Mysticist Sarah Alchemy uh, sums it up for me very uh, beautifully. Your consciousness is a trinity consisting of your soul, your higher self and your spirit. Where your soul is the experience you are having now here. That part of you is the you in the moment, the witnesser or the observer, we can call it. Then there is spirit, which is God consciousness, source experiencing itself in the now and the eternal now and then there is the higher self so the higher self is the self that reside in the higher dimension so it is the multi-dimensional self you can also see it as the future self because at once at some stage after the seventh dimension the self doesn't need a higher self anymore and if we actually integrate with our higher self and experience consciousness as our higher self that is why i'm also going to talk about the sixth and the seventh dimension so when we come into this world as a baby we just come from from being whole to be to being born and starting to feel the separateness at first we think we are still complete but as we as our human needs arise and our mother or mother figure can't always immediately um, satisfy that need we start to experience the separateness that there is a separateness between us and the mother and the separateness we then start to experience more and more and to to um, protect ourselves we start to develop this mask or this identity that help us to navigate being human and so this is how the lower self is formed i can i can call it but you have to understand that the lower self is not something inferior. I made a video about I'm only human where I, did, I explained that being human is something beautiful. It's not something uh, negative or bad or inferior. Now, during our, uh, during our exploration here on Earth, that is when we then start to again take away the layers, dive deep into our, uh, dive deep into ourselves to uncover and to reveal who we actually are, to remember it. So we first forget and then it's a process of remembering. And why do that? We are here on earth because we chose to, to have this experience so that we can learn lessons so that we can expand and even if we feel here on earth something is very painful for us our soul knows on a deeper level that that is what we chose we chose before to experience this and it is the higher self that directs what we go through not that we don't have a free will because we still make the choices but we are 
connected from the start with our higher self, with the multidimensional being that we are, that has all the knowledge and experience and access to all the dimensions in which we exist and existed in the past. So the higher self gains feedback from our experience and in that way also expand. So because the higher self exists in this multidimensional plane, it knows how to steer us. It knows what we need to go through to develop, to learn what we came to learn, to experience here. It is, of course, our choice to listen to the voice of our higher self and to tune into that because we have the free will. But your higher self is, is not a dictator or something separate from you. It is you. So the more and more we align with our higher self, the more authentic we start to live. And the more authentic we live, the more joy we will experience. The more joy and, and, and the feeling of purpose, the closer we come to the realization of the self. The higher self is here to help and guide us in the dimensions that are physical. Because after that, after the seventh dimension, there is no physical existence as we know it. It is then actually us who have merged with our higher self that will have the experiences. The higher self is the first manifestation of a source as a personality and we are one of the focus points of that personality because the higher self is multidimensional. It gets feedback from all the experiences to grow and expand. And then when we merge with our higher self, as we uh, move into higher dimensions, be it in this lifetime or in another lifetime, then the higher self again is the vehicle through which source experiences itself on a higher level. And then we go to higher, higher dimensions up to the 14th dimension. I don't. I'm not even sure if there's higher than 14. So I found it very helpful to study the teachings of Guru Deva, his original teachings. Uh, I also, so today I'm just going to add about the 6th and 7th dimension. I have made quite a few videos on this 5th dimension uh, with this unity consciousness, with this non-duality. So the sixth dimension is the superconscious plane and it is also seen as the heart of the generative and regenerative intelligence of man. Uh, he also describes it as the garden of temptation. Now this is because on, in this dimension it is a multidimensional dimension, the dimension of the higher self. Now when um, when you are in that dimension, there are deities, there are, uh, you can access previous lives and the previous lives are also, um, uh, can also give you indications of future lives. So you can get sidetracked in that and not follow the path to unity with Source. That is why Guru Diva um, to his disciples suggested that they go directly in meditation to the seventh dimension. And the seventh, dim seventh dimension is the dimension of pure consciousness of space. So that you can return as a king to the sixth dimension if you want to visit it because the sixth dimension is guarded he calls it by demons, you can see it by entities, because you can imagine a multidimensional uh, universe and, and all the entities that live there and exp have experiences. In the sixth dimension, 
here we can see the mechanisms of the aura, of the thought forms, of the uh, light body. So when you meditate in the fourth dimension, you will see a faint blue light, almost like a moonlight in your head. In the fifth dimension, this becomes brighter. In the sixth dimension, this light fills the whole body and it goes through all the your your hands, your feet. Um, so this is here where we see we can observe the the concepts of the thought forms of the aura of the light body. It is it is so you can exist without a physical body in the sixth realm, uh, but it is still physical. Uh, course we can still observe light and color in the seventh dimension there is no color there is a space like a never-ending sky you are above because you are above the vibration of light and it is here where awareness becomes aware of itself it can only observe itself. Consciousness is swallowed by the self and only the self remains. So to enter the seventh dimension, you have to forget everything. So you forget everything. And when you return from that realm, you start to remember. You start to come back into your body and to feel. And if you do that during meditation, do it slowly, come back and you will feel how your consciousness returned to the physical, to the denser, um, to the denser planes. It is possible for some moments to reach these higher dimensions with practice and dedication. But consciousness has a way of bringing itself back through the mechanisms of the different dimensions so that we return to this the uh, third dimension or first dimension in which we operate I just want to close close with this you are awareness you are the within and the without there is nothing more that you have to become to be worthy of anything and all all dimensions of existence is within you. The only thing you will find in your travels is more of yourself. I trust you found value in this. Let me know if you want me to make a follow-up video and what you would like to have more um, information about. I wish you a beautiful few days till I speak to you again. Till then, I'm sending you my infinite love. Goodbye.